What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and I've got a really cool tutorial for you today. We're going to be making abstract renders within Photoshop. So here are the uh, examples that I made earlier, and as you can see, they are very similar to Cinema 4D abstract renders, like this one, but everything is done within Photoshop, no Cinema 4D required, and I believe um, this is the first tutorial on YouTube, of how to do this. I haven't seen it anywhere else and I believe I'm the first one to find out about this really cool effect. So the first step you're going to do is create a new canvas 1280 by 720 and background content to transparent. Okay and then we're going to grab a gradient. Now it's totally up to you what gradient you use. Um, I've got a lot of presets here but I suggest a really interesting, uh, really varied gradient. So at least three colors. I'm going to grab this four colored gradient and click OK. Make sure it's on the linear gradient and not reversed and then drag it anywhere you want across your canvas. I'm going to go diagonally. OK. Next step is we're going to make a new layer. Make sure your default colors are on black and white. If they're not, just click this little icon here. Go to filter render clouds and then set the blending mode to overlay then holding shift select both the layers and do control e or command e to group then we're going to come up to filter again render again but this time instead of clouds we're going to use different clouds and that's really going to uh, shake things up a bit the last step is to go filter stylize and extrude and this is a really cool effect, a uh, 3D effect. And what I also forgot to mention is everything I do, um, you can change the settings. Uh, uh, so you don't have to add difference clouds. You could take them off and uh, try this tutorial without the difference clouds. Or you could add some other effect over this now and then extrude. Everything, um, everything you do, if you change it, you'll end up with a different product. That's really cool. They really are abstract and uh, random. So, uh, the way I'm showing you is just one way of doing everything. So I've come to extrude. I'm happy with uh, this really cool looking canvas we've got. Choose blocks. Uh, you can do pyramids. I'm going to do blocks. And you can vary the size, the depth. Um, but keep this on random and keep those unchecked. So I've got blocks, 30, 30 and random. Click OK. And then hold control or command and then press F and that will just um, redo the effect and I'm going to do it one more time so I've applied extrude three times and then we're going to go up to the 3D tab um, depending on what computer you have I'm, I'm not sure if everyone will have this option you will need um, a, a decent computer to do it not amazing but something uh, with a decent with decent graphics so hopefully you, you can access the 3d options then we're going to go new mesh from grayscale go cylinder and we get a 3d cylinder then because this is a 3d object we're going to control J to duplicate and then select them both control E that will make it a simplified layer then we go filter sharpen sharpen and this is just going to make the edges more pointy so you don't have to apply this but I like really pointy abstract renders and then again control F a few times I did it three times just to uh, reapply the effect make the effect stronger then 3D new mesh from grayscale and plane wait for that to load then we're going to duplicate the layer again select them both Control E to group, and then to finish off the abstract render, new mesh from grayscale and sphere. As you can see, you've got one really cool abstract render, totally random. Uh, using different gradients will affect the outcome, using different settings will affect the outcome, and then um, to simplify the layer, one more time, Control J, Control J. Select both, Control E, 
and you've got a simplified abstract render within Photoshop. So I hope this was helpful. It's a really cool effect. Haven't seen it anywhere else on YouTube. So uh, use it in your speed arts. Use it in your backgrounds. This would be really cool for backgrounds. And it's just a really unique style. Nobody else would be using at the moment. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned something. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. It really helps me and I'd like to see some feedback. This is Cruise Designs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.